How involved was David Kenner at Death Row? Shit, he was one of the motherfucking owners. He was one of the owners of Death Row. Uh, what I, you know, shit, he wouldn't put it together. Right, because oh, you need a lawyer to put something together like that, contract wise and business wise, right? right? You know, he ain't finna get cut out. Well, I mean, not not necessarily because a lawyer is a lawyer. He was a lawyer, everywhere. A lawyer c could just get his lawyer fee. A lawyer doesn't necessarily Watch have to be. Watch the Death Row movie. You, you know, you tell me if he uh, didn't get cut in or he got cut in. It was interesting to me that that Suge fired David Kenner as his lawyer because he but he's didn't. still working for. He fired him. He didn't want him to be in the court building, so that's why he said this other dude still worked for David Kenner's law firm. Oh, so he's still with David Kenner. Yeah, he just didn't want David Kenner in there. He's like, man, fuck you, you little stiff faced fucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because David Kenner must have got a, a motherfucking operation or something because he looked different. Yeah, it looks like he got a facelift. Yeah. He, so, you know, he, that man's like sixty something years old or something. Ain't he? he he got half the money from Death Row. He got half the money. Shit, what do you think? He got in, got out. So he made hundreds of millions. Yeah, yeah. Why you think he should say, man? I don't think my last resort. Please, man. If I ain't did anything for you, you motherfucker, what help me, please. What do you think about the whole blindness thing? P O P. <laughs> Hold it down. Hold it down. I'm legally blind. I, I'm gonna be honest though. After seeing that tape, I could see David Chappelle doing that. I could. Well, I could see. <laughs> <laughs> I could see reasonable doubt. You know, what I mean, I could see the jury saying there's a reasonable doubt that maybe they're gonna look at all that TMZ shit he was on their floors and yeah, because I'm gonna get for the big payback. You know what I mean? What's the difference between that and that? Yeah, I mean, you know, he ran over people before in, in a video. I mean, you know, that's what that's what the DA doing that shit now. So they, I'm just an observer. I just look at the shit. That's my opinion. I'm right. looking for the person who lived with Suge Knight. They wiping him out right now. They stealing everything. What, what do you mean? Motherfucker who lived with him, his girlfriend, somebody fucking who got the keys to his house, with all the shit in there, that big earring that he be wearing. I know they even put on that motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, 20, <laughs> a $25 million bail, like... I'm going in there and rob whoever got the $25 million bail. I'm taking everything out of his house because he won't be coming back. That's going to hit him now. That's what they do. You go to jail, yeah. motherfucker close to you, they going to hit you. They going to get everything, especially if you got a $25 million bail. The motherfucker ain't done again. Because with $25 million bail, you got to put up $2.5 million. And that's where he probably had cash to get out on the first two point five million, which is two hundred fifty thousand. Right. So two point five million. Is, you know. Yeah, and and you got to find a company that's actually willing to put up, you know, because there, there's a reasonable chance that she'll be out. You know, if I he asked some people when they came with that twenty five million, he's like, decline. <laughs> I'm trying to battle John Cena. Can somebody find John Cena's management, WWE, somebody find John Cena, and let's make this happen. So let's be super honest here, and I'm gonna be really frank and a little uncouth. I'm not gonna suck a dick unless I'm gonna do it great. I'm not gonna write a book unless I'm gonna do it great. I'm not gonna cook a meal unless I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna do any, I'm not gonna touch anything unless I plan on doing it better than anyone else you've ever met in your entire life.